Hello and welcome back to Silver Run Forest. Right, so as you can see here, I'm just where we we are where we left off last time. Um, I am essentially just going to line up myself very nicely so that we can easily access the container uh, in the back here. So we will actually we'll just shut this off for now. We'll run to the back. We'll get this opened, which I believe is ah beautiful. All right. Uh, so what we'll try first is we'll take these and uh, we'll try and stick them in. I do need to make absolute certain though that all of these logs are 12 meters. So this big pile has 12, 12, 12, 12. 12. They're all 12 meters. That's perfect. Here we have 10.9, 10, 15 just about. So these three no. 12, 12, 12, 12, 12. 12. Alright, so good. Okay, perfect. So these are all a bit bigger. Those are all 12. Those are 12. Uh, what I'd like to try and start is well, we'll hop into the massive Volvo L180H and we'll get as many of these as we can do into one grapple because we do have, as, to, as I mentioned in the last episode, at the end of the one, last one, that we have a great demand at the... Uh, at the uh, container warehouse, so we, that's where we're going. Hmm. I suppose. I just I don't want it to be such a waste if we're using just one, just like one or two logs at once. That seems a wasteful. There, I've got how many now? Right, I'll take it. So if I reverse, let's see how well this works. That's still three massive logs at one time. Boom, boom, boom. Beautiful. Look at that. So that's that seems like quite a lot filled already. Um, and that's only a handful of logs. So I imagine we'd have to do a few more trees to get it filled. But it, I don't reckon it'll be nearly as bad as the first time we did it. Right, I need to separate these three. There we go. Oh, wow. That worked out almost nice. almost nicely. There we go, and scoop them up. Alright, so this is better than my... oh no, oh, it's alright, I'll take the two. This is better, however, than my Kubota idea, which was to, to use it and to deliver 12 meter logs one at a time, which <coughs> seems to be what I've currently got doing. Um, right, well, once I get the hang of... Uh, lo oh my goodness, we've had an on-site collision. Right, we best re <laughs> we best rectify this immediately. But before we do, might as well load in this one last log. Horrendous accident in the forest. There we go, perfect. Right, rectify this and we'll be back at it in a moment. All right, happy days once again. I reckon since this is just the one, might as well just try and make this as easy as possible. Come on. Maybe I'm trying to be too cheeky about it. There we go. No, I just need to be close enough. Right, well... I'm still I'm still working on finding the best approach for loading these containers. If anyone does have any suggestions or advice on how best to do it, uh, please do forward them through. Um, another option, of course, is uh, it would be a slower approach, I suppose, to use the winch to winch them all up. That would take ages, actually. I would like to get a full load here of all of these logs at once. It I, it must be possible. It has to be. Maybe not when you rubbish at it. <laughs> As I am at the moment. It does open very wide. Okay, let's try and close them all in. Perhaps my movements are a bit too jerky, too sudden. And it's causing trauma amongst the logs. Right, well that's better than nothing. Oh, there was some sneaky small ones in there as well. I must be careful not to bring any sneaky small ones in to this. I'll be honest though, this is much easier than 
Oh dear. Then loading a log trailer with the same machine. I'm almost tempted to get into the lorry and just back it up. Oh, no, don't need to. At least not for them. And one more in, two more in. Go on. Go on. There we are. Beautiful. So, as I've said, this is cheeky a bit. But look at that. Look at that. Look how full this is already. Let's have a gander. I'm, I'm going to guess 44%. Ooh, 52. Like it. Even better. Well, what we'll do is we'll crack on with the rest of this in... Uh, well, probably a time-lapse. Actually, I'll just finish these two, and then the time-lapse will include some harvesting as well as um, some loading. Because now that we're at 52, that's what? How many trees was that? About four trees? No. Could it be? I think it is, actually. If they're, if they're three... well, maybe six, actually. Yeah, maybe six. Right, well, e either way, let's need to get it in there. One and two. So, hang on, how many percent does two logs do? Let's see. Oh, wow, we're at 60% after two logs. That's 7% that we, well, technically 6%, but still, that's very good. Right, let's just very quickly clear these out of the way. Uh, it might not be a terrible idea to move the Volvo either. And uh, as I've decided, the only time I'll cut down small trees is when they're just in the way. Uh, I will avoid it as best I can to not have uh, small trees cut down because it's a waste. It really is. It's um, you do you do get something out of it, but. Uh, what you get out of it versus the time and all that, it just doesn't seem worth it to me, personally. Right, so, we'll fire up. We need to find some 12 foot, sorry, 12 meter trees. Ideally 25 plus. That way we can guarantee we're getting at least two logs out of the whole tree. So we will actually just check before. Actually, yes, we haven't done this in a while. Uh, we'll just, is that an X? Yeah, that Okay, so that means no. Uh, how do you change these again? Sorry, it's been a minute since I've put this on. Oh, right. We'll do uh, this for cutting them down. And the tree's 35. That is brilliant. Right, so we've got that big fella there. Is this at least 12 meters? It is not. This one might be. It is. This one must be at least... Oof. We'll get one out of it. One full 12 meter. This one might be just over 24. Oh, no, it's not. But we'll get one at least. And then this one will be... Oof, that's a big tree. Right, we'll see if we can manage it in uh, those trees. Right, they are marked and ready to be cut. And we are ready to cut, I think. We are not because we can't cut these trees. Blimey, it's too big. It's too big. So that is two trees. Uh, no, we can cut the other one. It's just the spruce. It's just too big, mate. Too big. Right, we'll move around this way. We'll get repositioned again. We will put our less than 12 meter logs or more than 12 meter logs in that pile to my right. And, oh, there's some on the other side. Uh, but we'll get it all sorted out. Right, let's begin the wood cutting.
Right, well, I just checked and we're at 98%. If this last log does not do it, I will be quite surprised, actually. I'll be very surprised. Um, also, as you can see, the snow has started to fall and there is no other forecast in sight, meaning that it's going to be snowy for the next two months, pretty much, probably straight. Uh, which means I really should get these logs that I've cut um, I should really really get them off the ground uh, which is what we'll do after we come back from the container warehouse because we do have productions to fill as well right that should have done it let's have a look 98 and 100% incredible so that's fired up we can now close that down because we're all done and we'll get this turned off as well and then we'll make our way to the container warehouse. Alright, well we're just taking a bit of a shortcut through our old sawmill, um, as you can see in the review mirror there in the back mirror. Um, but we are now arriving to the container warehouse and we will see what we can earn from this container. Blimey. 219,652 pounds. What? That's amazing. That is amazing money. I s There's no way that we earned that before. Is it possible we earned that much in the, in the first place? Hmm, don't know. Anyways, beautiful time. Just in time for the train. Right, well, that is a fairly incredible um, chunk of money that we've just earned. So, what we'll do... Here, we'll just quickly cross this and get out of the way. Because um, I would like to have a quick look at all of our productions. Oh, excuse me. All of our productions. No animals yet. Uh, we Do we have any outstanding loans? We do not. We do have the lease to own on a couple of items. Right, okay. So, planks long uh, means that... Oh, good. Look at that. We, have exact, we had exactly enough for a thousand litres to store. That is amazing. So, we have to bring those somewhere. We also own the flooring factory which is giving a right there are loads of planks there shingles need to be replaced so for now we'll just deactivate uh, we should have a paper carton roll and not far off from a car uh, sorry a paper roll and not far off from a carton roll uh, this warehouse uh, sorry uh, production is constantly working which is fantastic um, I do like I do actually like waiting for this to be quite full and then I'll take a load at once make driving in there worth it loads of wood here the old sawmill needs the most wood or needs wood the most I should say so the flooring factory is good for planks the right the paper factory is good for wood the uh, shingle factory needs planks long from the old sawmill the wood turner needs nothing right now the old sawmill does need that and iron ore we can deliver sometime in the future. So the priorities are long planks for the shingle factory and the old sawmill needs wood. So the wood that we are going to be bringing... Oops, sorry, was I in the way? The wood that we are going to be bringing to the old sawmill is the wood from the... Uh, what you call it down here? from the uh, the pile of wood that we have left out which we should actually tend to first so what we'll do is and I know we can pick up planks here at the uh, old sawmill but I don't have my uh, forklift with me what I might do is convert the Kubota into another uh, forklift type it's a very expensive forklift though so I want to use it for many things it was initially meant to load uh, logs into the containers, but we have found that it does tend to work a bit better with the uh, bigger loader. So for the Kubota, I'm pretty certain I did a lease to own gambit on that as well, which probably wasn't the best looking back, but what are you supposed to do? How am I supposed to read the future? Right, so we're just on our way back now to the area with all the wood in. Um, actually, no, you know what? We'll save that for later. This, the sawmill has loads. It won't snow that much before we can collect it. And we do need to get 
uh, planks at the uh, flooring factory sorry long planks so that we can continue that production uh, and then we'll also look at all of the uh, items that need to be relocated to the uh, the roller coaster as well as the boat right so we'll just slip in here we got loads of metal to sell we will find the forklift which is ah right there at the shop uh, so what we'll probably do let's have a look at the price of metal not that we're too fussed on on uh, money at the moment what we do need the most of is wood um, yeah see the price for things is not great oh that's good though considering what about right so this will always be a good price but it would be nice to sell it a bit more right we've got loads of this we've got loads of that so that's 120,000 between those two and their carton rolls what would be the next production to buy pet accessories we've got flooring factory furniture factory oh perhaps the furniture or barrel factory hmm well we have money so what should we do should we buy this land should we cut some grass very quickly oh, i guess by the time that uh, <laughs> this episode is released we'll have another episode also released or at least prepared and made so let's just wait and see what happens right what we'll do first is we'll sort out some items at the productions uh, and then we'll look into selling the metal but it's not a priority at the moment uh, whereas getting wood to the old sawmill is so we'll see you in a second all right so as we approach here to the old sawmill um, we do have our list of items that we have to take to various uh, productions so for example the boatyard needs a handful of things as does pretty much every other production that we have um, right let's just get up alongside here for now so we'll start with this what we have here and then we'll move over to the uh, the main lot so let's get that unfolded and unstrapped right the snow is definitely definitely coming down now let's get some lights on right so we can move this back to a normal size of fork it's a bit bit more for the containers that size right so the things we need to collect we have planks here we have only three of them but we need nine at the boat yard so I will bring all three down um, I will have a gander at the other side to see if there are more there. But for now, I will just grab as many of these as I can do. Right, should have a look. Oh, I can see from here. So all of the planks spawn over here. So we have some beams and some long planks over there, which is great. Uh, the boatyard also needs long planks. Just one, though. Just one pallet. So the rest of the long planks can go to... Um, here, we'll put these as three just to keep them stacked nicely. They are going to the same place anyways. Let's right, so get those stacked on there. It's not the best stacking, but it's all right. It's still effective. Right, so we'll put these on the front, actually, of the trailer. Right, so these are going to the boatyard. One long planks pallet is also going uh, to the boatyard. Uh, the boatyard needs the most things, actually. So we'll just put that there. It's a bit sketchy, but it's all right. Perhaps we'll put uh, another pl long plank on the other side here. Ooh, that's the wrong vehicle. <laughs> right, there we are. Uh, for the roller coaster, all we need is one set of floor tiles, which we will pick up on the way. Um, I will go first collect that far long plank. Actually, no, I'll grab the one, because the other one can go uh, to the shingle factory, because we do need... Oops, we do need long planks down there to continue that production. So we'll take these planks down to the boatyard, and we'll take the other planks down to the shingle factory. So we'll just very quickly get these loaded on wood beams. Um, I believe we do need one pallet of wood beams down to the... Uh, sorry, two down 
to the boatyard. So we'll bring what we have, which I believe is going to be pretty much everything here except for the the one long planks. So let me get this loaded up, and we will be on our way uh, to the... Well, well, we do need floor tiles, so we'll be on our way to Flooring Fantasies. All right, well, we are approaching back to the town, uh, to our first stop on this journey, which is the flooring production, the flooring fantasies. So I'll pull over to the side. Oh, there it is. I see the pallet that we need. Just the one pallet. Right, so we'll open this up. Get this unstrapped and we'll go recover that singular pallet, even if another one spawns afterwards, which I doubt it will because it uh, would need uh, it would need to have uh, probably another one spawn beside it. I imagine there's room for more than one. Anyways, all we need is the one for now. So we will collect it. As easy as you do. Alright, so this is for the roller coaster. Now this is the only item for uh, the roller coaster. So I will put it uh, near-ish to the back, I suppose. Because that'll be where we drop it off, is the roller coaster. So, what we need to do is make certain to not go into any of the wrong... <laughs> any of the wrong drop-off locations. Uh, right, we do need to go next to the shingle factory to drop off those two pallets of planks. Uh, yeah, so as I was uh, unloading the first one, the second one did pop out at the main area just near... Here, I'll just push that forward a bit. Uh, just near the... Uh, near to the old sawmill. So I'll get that strapped in as well. Strap, strap. Beautiful. Right. Now our next stop is... the Shingle Factory. We'll take it just to... Uh, oh, hello train. Just to give us a nice guide of where we're going. So we'll enter into the road and we'll see you there in a second. Ah. Right. So I accidentally just sold something somewhere. That's not on. Yeah, you can see I've sold most of those planks and most of those to where? The framing place. Oh, bloody Nora. So how much have I sold? I, I, I'm i actually more upset that I've sold those. The... Ugh, it's not even a good price. That is unfortunate. Uh, we're only here to deliver planks. But now we won't have enough for... We won't have enough for the boat yard. Hmm. It needed planks long. How many have we got? Right, that's wood beams. That's got to go there as well. What have we got here? 242, 222, and what's the bottom one? 242 as well. Right, well, we might as well just bring those there. We don't have shingles. Shingles don't need to go anywhere as far as I can tell yet. Um, yeah, we're going to have to scrap the planks long here going to uh, going to the boathouse, unfortunately. Right, well, I'll get that sorted and shoveled, shuffled rather over to the uh, shingle factory. That's a bit unfortunate. That's what you get when you play with uh, no um, zone markings, interactive zones. Because I've interacted without knowing it. But that's good to know that it's right there as well. Right, okay, we'll get this sorted and then we'll see you at the roller coaster. Alright, so we are going to be very cautious about where we bring our stuff here. We don't want to have another accident like we did. But if I very carefully reverse into the area, we should start to see that pile go down and money go up. Once money starts going up, we stop. Uh, oh, there it is. And we've stopped. So, 5,570 plus the accidental 13,000 uh, from before. Again, such a shame, but really not a problem. It was, what, one one pallet uh, of planks that was... Oh, sorry, two. But essentially, two full pallets of, pl of long planks that were sold accidentally, which is minor, very minor. Um, in fact, I could take that 13,000 and buy planks and bring them here, but that seems just a bit silly. Right, let's just do the same thing we did before and just turn around. And we'll just get these unloaded. 
So I know before I could have been very cheeky and sold all of the items to the uh, two here and continued to make money and then bought it, but what's going on here? Oh, it's because they're too high off the ground. Right, let's get those shifted over. can probably lift that without super strength. Yes, I can. This one I cannot, but I can kick it, and that's fine. Perfect, so that is more in there now. Let's uh, let's have a look. So we've got... Oops, hello. Where are we at? So planks long we are. In storage we're short one. Two. One. Planks, we've got... Alright, we're short on planks as well. Wood beams, we are now fine. And metal, we are fine. Storage floor tiles is next. Right. Oh yes, because we had to bring some to the to the roller coaster, but I'm sure things will take shape very soon here. Brilliant. Alright, well here we are now at the scene of whatever happened here. Uh, we should probably rearrange this a bit better. Um, basically my plan is to collect all of the trees that I can do that would not fit into the shipping container. Now these ones for example are hand sized so I can easily uh, have them dealt with but we do have a few big ones here as well. I will get all these small ones in one area. Um, I don't think it's that imperative, it might not even be, um, but at least it'll keep things nice and tidy for when the snow does fall. The reason I'm doing this now, even though it is getting a bit dark out, well, it is dark out, just about, uh, is because I know that uh, in, well, I have a very good sense that February is going to be a very snowy morning. Uh, I'm very, I'm fully expecting to have full snow uh, when we awake in January. Which begs the question, is there anything else we need to do? Oh my gosh. Need to locate our pile. There we are. Uh, is there anything else we need to do before the snow sets? I know we want sheep. And the sheep, for example, uh, is something that we'll have to wait. But by the time that spring comes, we'll have loads of cash to, uh, to get it all started at once. We'll get sheep in. We'll get the fabric. Uh, we'll get the tailor shop and the... Uh, wait, what do we need? We need to turn wool into fabric, that's all. We don't need the tailor shop, actually. We're not making clothes, we're making fabric. And from the fabric come the sails. So right, that is pretty much it for the little bits, I think. Yeah, these ones might need to be picked up separately. And that one as well. Uh, and that's it, so it's a very small job. We'll do it very quickly uh, before it gets too dark. Um, just as we uh, end the episode here. So we'll get that done. We'll get those little ones loaded on as well because they do count for something. Um, I wonder if it's worth putting those onto the flatbed. Nah, we'll just strap them into here. It should be fine. Right, well, let's begin. Alright, well that wasn't the cleanest job, uh, however, and I found a few uh, little branches hiding, um, but it is off the ground, so these ones will be placed, um, but I won't subject you to more torturous, uh, terrible loading, uh, only joking, it's fantastic loading and I'm very proud of it, <clears throat> but yes, <laughs> we'll, get, we'll get all these little bits on here as well, we'll get this tidied up, I'll bring the... Uh, the Kubota around to give it something to do uh, and tidy this up but the main thing is those logs are off the ground so the next bit of logging that we do will most likely be uh, in the snow well more so than now right it got very dark very quickly so good opportunity to end the episode as always thank you so much for watching and until next time take care and bye for now <laughs>